Welcome back, my name is Chris Miller, and in this tutorial, we're going to walk through um, WordPress theming, and we're gonna take an existing WordPress theme and begin to strip it back or dismantle it down to its core pieces so you can have a little bit more of an understanding as a developer uh, how a WordPress theme comes together and some of the uh, bare essentials that you'll need. So. Let's get started. We're going to click on uh, admin, which is going to start our local site here. Oh, did it not launch? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. There we go. Great. Cool. So we are here on, or we're here in the back end admin area. All right. No thank you. No thank you. Okay. So um, what we're going to do now is we're gonna click on appearances and we've got three native or the, uh, three default themes that come uh, with WordPress out of the box. So what we're going to do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna click on this little arrow, which is going to take us to the folder where this site is installed and we're gonna click on app, we're gonna click on public and this uh, is our WordPress core uh, files which we're not gonna edit. We've covered this in other videos. Uh, we do not want to edit these. We're gonna click on WP Content Themes, and we can see the three themes there that we see in the back end of WordPress. Now, I'm going to do a couple of things just to demonstrate uh, how to edit a theme. So uh, just try to follow along. Some of it may or may not make sense to you at this point, but uh, bear, bear with me and and hopefully it'll it'll all come out in the wash. So uh, we're gonna do 2021. We're gonna open this up. Oh, let's go ahead and get VS Code open. All right, and let's drag our theme to the code editor. Yep, I'm gonna blow this up for you all watching. Hopefully that's easy to see. And we're going to take a look at style.css. Now, this is gonna seem really foreign to some of you out there if you're used to other CMSs or other JavaScript frameworks. Um, in, in the world of WordPress, when you are creating a theme from scratch or editing, editing an existing theme, um, it's your style.css and the, the, the uh, notes at the top here, uh, or the comments at the top, um, that inform WordPress that this is a theme that can be uh, installed and activated. So if we take a look at the theme name and the theme URI and all this other meta information about this theme, this surfaces in the back end. So let's come here to 2021, which is the active theme. If we click on theme details, we can see more of that information here. And if you can tell, for instance, the description 2021 is a blank canvas, okay? 2021 is a blank canvas. So if we were to update this, um, let's just update the name and say, hello world, hit save, hit refresh. We can see that the title of this theme now is hello world. So, that is one of the first files you will want to um, understand is that in order to get that to surface appropriately in the back end of WordPress, you will want to have most of this information filled out. Not all of it is required, but there are some pieces that are required and I encourage you to go look at the WordPress documentation to see what those are. But we're gonna move on to, um, we're gonna move on to, where are they at? Functions, functions.php. Now, let's disregard any of the code that's sitting here in this file. One thing that I really want you to know here is that in the WordPress world, the functions.php file is the place where you're going to use hooks, which are kind of like fancy versions of functions that allow you to do uh, certain things at certain places or at certain times uh, during the WordPress firing sequence. 
um, or just create helper functions that you want to call in other places throughout your theme. So your functions.php file is, I'll put it crudely, is sort of your dumping ground for all of the PHP logic that you might want to use in other parts of your theme. Now, you can abstract this and you can create it like an ink folder and write all your functions or do object-oriented programming in there. Uh, and then and then include those files in this functions.php. So organize it however you would like, but at the end of the day, it will need to all bubble up to functions.php. And then the other, um, I would say, three files that are very important here is going to be index.php. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have footer.php and header.php. So there's header php and footer.php so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take a look at the uh, front end of the site and we can see that there's some styling here and and um, some some defaults based uh, on this theme so what i want to do is i'm going to strip down everything out of this theme i'm going to move all this to the trash uh, i'm going to move all this to the trash and I just deleted the screenshot. I don't know if you noticed that there is a screenshot.png, which means that the in the back end, we're not going to see a screenshot anymore for our theme, which is OK. Um, and I'm going to delete uh, everything in here and open up my PHP uh, bracket there. Um, also, I'm going to delete everything. Well, not everything in the footer. We're going to hold on to this function. We'll talk about that in just a second. I'll leave that there. And same thing for the head. We're going to keep the head. And there we go. OK. So let's go back to the front and refresh. OK, we've got an error of uh, functions at PHP line one. There has been a critical expect, unexpected end of file. Uh, maybe it's because we didn't close out. There we go. No matching template found. Um, that might be because of some of the files that we just deleted. And we now need to flesh out the permalinks. So we're going to go to permalinks. We're going to go to plain, save changes, post name, save changes, refresh. Oh, wonder what's going on. Oh, I deleted the index.php. Okay, so I do need to bring that back. That's right. Got a little too hasty there. Okay, blank. Okay, so it's completely blank. So if we want to uh, produce, say, like an H1 just to test, so we'll say uh, hello world and do a refresh, we see hello world there in our index.php. Now, there's a really great uh, chart or a really great um, illustration uh, over on, at WordPress, which I'll leave in the description below, that shows you sort of the schematic or uh, how all these files are connected and uh, what the fallback pattern is, right? So sort of at the very end of all this, index.php is the fallback file. But there are other files that if, if WordPress sees it, it will um, honor that or use that in place of index.php. So page.php is an example of that, which is for the page custom post type. Single.php is another example of that, and that is for the post post type. I know that sounds confusing, but we covered that in a previous video. But I'm going to push on uh, here and um, demonstrate this a little bit further by saying in the head, this is the header. And then let's refresh. Ooh, that's right. That's not working because in the in the index file, we're no longer calling uh, the head. So let's say um, uh, I think it's no, that's not going to be right. Let's see. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and do a Google search, WordPress, the head, probably not. 
Oh, it's get get the header. Get the right, it's get header. Yes, it's get header. Okay. Yeah. Woo. All right. Dusting off the old noggin there. So uh get header. Uh and then we're gonna do get footer down below. And we're not going to see anything, but we did just see the black bar pop up. We're going to comment out the footer for a second or get footer. We're going to see the black admin bar go away. And we'll explain that in just a second. So um, this is the bare essentials for a WordPress theme. We've got our index file, okay, which uh, without it, as we just saw earlier, it's not going to display anything. Then we have our header.php and our footer.php which you don't necessarily need to have. I don't think that those are must have files. We can delete them and it'll still work. Uh, but those are files that WordPress does expect you to use. And I think it's a good idea that you should use them. And then your functions.php file for writing out all the logic that you'll, you'll want to use throughout your theme. Let's go back to index.php and we're gonna comment out uh, or uncomment the footer, get footer. And we're gonna see this black bar appear at the top. And, and you might ask yourselves, well, why is that? How, how come that admin bar popped up? And that's because if we take a look at the footer, we left a function in there called WP footer. And if we look at the header file as well, we see WP head. Those are functions that are provided to us by WordPress. And these functions play a very important role, which is way beyond the scope of this video, but I'll touch on it briefly. The functions here, WP head and WP footer, are part of the hook system that's built into WordPress, meaning that as a plugin developer, uh, if you needed to hook into the head or hook into the footer with what they call an action or a filter hook, you can do that. In, Another way of thinking about this is WP head, that function there is like a little window or a little door into that space or into that place within the theme. So as a WordPress theme developer, you will always want to have the WP head function and the WP footer function in your respective files, header.php, footer.php. Without those files, if you go and you install a majority of the plugins out there, they're probably not going to work. So as an example, this in the footer.php file, wp underscore footer, because we uh, uncommented out our uh, footer function or get footer function, we now saw the black admin bar. Well, that's because in WordPress core, it's using its own hook here at wp footer. And that's how it's injecting our admin, uh, our admin bar at the top. Okay. All right. I think that's enough for this video. Really just kind of wanted to break down the anatomy of a WordPress theme and uh, how you can take an existing theme, strip it back to see what are all the parts and pieces and how it all works. Uh, in future videos, we're going to build on top of this and it's going to get a little bit more advanced with the hook system, how to use it, and that'll eventually lead into plugin development. So. Hopefully you found 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 this helpful. Uh, come back and check out some more of my videos. Please hit the subscribe button below and share if you found found if you find value in this. I'm rambling at this point. We're just going to end it. End it. Okay. Cool.